Preparation of hollow arenes. From arenes, first method is from arenes. Second, from aniline. First, let us discuss from arenes. First method, from arenes. Aryl chlorides and aryl bromides. Aryl chlorides and aryl bromides. can be prepared by the direct chlorination or bromination of hydro aromatic hydrocarbons in presence of catalyst lewis acid catalyst like fecl3 febr3 or alcl3 and the reaction is taking place in dark and cold aromatic hydrocarbon on reaction with chlorine on chlorination presence of FeCl3 cold and dark reaction is taking place and the product obtained will be aryl halide that is aryl chloride will be obtained plus HCl similar reaction takes place in the case of bromine also direct bromination bromobenzene is obtained but iodobenzene cannot be prepared by this method because reverse reaction takes place in the case of iodobenzene. So the reaction is taking place in the presence of oxidizing agents like oxidizing agents like HNO3 or HiO4. Okay. So, in the presence of this oxidizing agent, the HI produced will be oxidized or destroyed. So, the reverse reaction will not take place. Okay. So, hydrocarbon benzene on iodination. Reaction is taking place in presence of HNO3 or HIO4. So, the reverse reaction will not take place and we will get iodobenzene. Plus HI. Okay. HI will get the oxidized. This is the second next method. Next, aryl fluorides cannot be prepared by this method because the, re uh, the uh, reaction is so vigorous and we cannot control the reaction. Okay. Next, in the case of toluene, in the case of toluene, Para and ortho substitution will takes place and the reaction takes place in the presence of Lewis acid catalyst like FeCl3, FeBr3 etc. Okay. On direct chlorination in presence of FeCl3 dark and cold. Okay. The reaction is taking place and ortho para substituted product will be obtained. Ortho chloro toluene or plus okay, para chloro toluene will be obtained. Okay, these two products are obtained. These are the reactions with arenes. Okay, next from aniline, how can we prepare aryl halides from aniline? From aniline. Okay. Now, aromatic primary amine or aniline on reaction with sodium nitrite NaNO2 and dilute HCl at a temperature of 273 Kelvin. Okay. Reaction takes place. Aniline. NH2. Aniline. Okay. On reaction with NaNO2. NaNO2 and dilute HCl. NaNO2 and dilute HCl. Okay, the reaction is taking place or dilute HX. The reaction is taking place at about 273 to 278 Kelvin. Reaction takes place and the product obtained will be benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, N2 plus Cl minus. This is benzene 
diazonium chloride this is an important reaction diazonium chloride and this process is called as diacetization 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 okay this process is called as diacetization okay so benzene diazonium chloride is obtained this benzene diazonium chloride on reaction with copper halides okay diazonium chloride n2 plus cl minus on reaction with copper halides x may be chlorine or bromine okay copper chloride or copper i copper bromide the reaction is taking place and an aryl halide will be obtained okay x aryl halide will be obtained plus n2 okay x may be chlorine or bromine okay this reaction is called as sandmeyer's reaction sandmeyer's reaction okay now instead of copper halide if we are using copper powder if we are using copper powder benzene dichloride diazonium benzene diazonium chloride n2 plus cl minus instead of copper halide if we are using copper powder okay copper powder and hcl reaction takes place and we will get aryl halides okay aryl halides if chlorine is used we will get chlorobenzene here chlorine is used so chlorobenzene will be obtained okay this reaction is called as Gutterman's reaction. Gutterman's reaction. Okay. This reaction is called as. So instead of copper halide, if we are using copper powder, reaction is called as Gutterman's reaction. Okay. In the case of uh, iodobenzene, if we are producing iodobenzene, there is no need of copper halides. Instead. We are using potassium iodide. Either shake the compound or heat it. Okay. Diazonium chloride. N2 plus Cl minus. Okay. On reaction with potassium iodide. Either boiling or uh, shaking with the potassium iodide. We will get iodobenzene. Okay. Plus N2. Okay, so this will be the product. Now, for fluorobenzene, in the case of fluorobenzene, corresponding fluoroborate on heating, we will get the fluorobenzene. Okay, first aniline. This is the uh, production of uh, fluorobenzene. Okay, aniline on reaction with NaNO2 and hydrogen borate. Hydroborate, HbF4, hydroborate, fl hydrogen fluoroborate, okay. In the presence of fluoroborate on heating, okay, and then sodium nitrate and fluoroborate on heating, this gets converted into N2 plus BF4 minus, okay. This will be the product obtained, okay. So, this on heating, it gets converted to fluorobenzene. Okay. This is another method for the preparation of fluorobenzene from aniline. Plus N2 plus B. This will be the product. Okay. 